beautiful and amazing crafters welcome to another video of crafting with Shanita in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these adorable Pringles stackable chip labels right in Canva so I'm starting off with a new template at a full sheet of paper 8 by 5 by 11 and I found this shape the simple rounded corner rectangle frame in Canva which is a perfect fit for the Pringles stackable chips and I'll list the name in the description bar below I actually came across this shape and I thought it was perfect for a project that I ended up doing and it turned out great. So for the background, since I'm going to do a frame, I decided to do a princess themed background. And I googled some images that I was going to use for this personal use file. Once I found the image I liked, I went ahead and pasted it into the frame and began designing my project from this point. I was able to use Canva Elements. I do have Canva Pro, but Canva, free, Canva does have the free version that has amazing elements as well. So here I just started designing my template. Now once I was happy with my design, I went ahead and saved it as a PNG because I need to get the sizing um, perfect for the Pringle label. So I brought the design into my um, Cricut Design space and removed the background. And I created a template so that way I could um, match it perfectly with the existing Pringle label. I made a slight offset so it had a slight border when I went when I go to print and cut this project. So after measuring the Prinkle stackable label, I made a few different templates to get the sizing that I was satisfied with that fit around the whole label. And I went ahead and print and cut a few of the labels on glossy sticker paper. And the sizing that I really um, liked was about 3.73 3 by 2.85. That was the sizing that I liked the best. And I will put all the dimensions and everything that I used in the description box below. I think these came out so adorable and they're, they're so easy to make. And I pr used glossy sticker paper. Now, if you don't want to bring it into Cricut Design Space, you could, um, once you finish with your design in Canva, you can size it to about 3.8 by 2.5, and you're able to get six of these labels on one full sheet of paper. You want to save it as, and download it, excuse me, as a PDF, and then you can cut it out by hand if you don't want to bring it into Cricut Design Space. Um, with Cricut, I was able to get five per sheet, and then with Canva, you can get six per sheet. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. And if you do make these um, Pringle stackable labels, let me know. I would love to see them. I will see you on the next video of Crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting!
Thank you.